Welcome back to our system design series. Today we are discussing peer-to-peer -peer architecture, a decentralized model that has transformed how systems are designed for resilience and scalability. Let's dive into what makes peer-to-peer -peer architecture unique and explore its key benefits and challenges. Okay, so let's try to answer, answer the question about what exactly is peer-to-peer -peer communication. Peer-to-peer -peer, uh, architecture, sorry, is design is a decentralized network module where each node or peer is in the system has equal responsibilities and capabilities. Unlike traditional uh, client-server model, there is no um, there is no central uh, server coordinating activities. Instead, each peer can act as both client and server sharing resources and data directly with other peer in the network okay let's take an example so i understand how it works so let's say that we have peer one and we have peer two we can add peer three i guess if you want so each one of them can share or like can request or send data to any one of them so basically Peer 1 can send data to peer 2 and also it can receive data from peer 2. Let's make it like that. Uh, and the same thing also peer 1 can send data to peer 3, make it different color and also it can reserve data from um, let's make it like that from peer 3 and peer 3 and peer 2 have the same thing they can send data to each other okay let's give it a different color and they can receive data as well from each other okay so this is how it works first we have equal nodes like all nodes or peers have the same capabilities. They can initiate requests to provide or also and uh, also they can provide responses and also share resources without, without relying on a uh, central authority. Number two, we have decentralized communication. Peers communicate directly with each other, forming a, a mesh-like structure where data and resources flow freely among nodes. Three, we have resource sharing. Each peer contributes to the network by sharing resources such as bandwidth, storage, or computing power. This makes the system highly collaborative. What are the key characteristics of this one, of the peer-to-peer -peer architecture? The first thing, we said that decentralization because there is no single central server managing the system and this makes peer-to-peer -peer networks highly resilient and eliminates a single point of failures Th the second thing we have a dual role of peers because as you can see here for example if we look at this one as you can see like each peer acts as both client which is it can request data okay also it acts as a server which basically um provide a resource or send data so both both it works both ways um also there are scalability because as a new peers join the network the system's uh, scalability grows or, um, originally more peers mean more resources and better overall performance also there is a uh, resilience because with um with no central point of failure peer-to-peer -peer application peer-to-peer -peer networks are highly resilient to failure if one peer goes offline other can continue to function without any disruption so the benefits we said scalability resilience and fault tolerance and cost effective because um cost effectiveness as well because resources are distributed among peers reducing the need for expensive centralized infrastructure and also there is efficiency because data and the resources can be exchanged directly between peers minimizing bottlenecks and improving performance okay what are the challenges that we will face when we working with a peer-to-peer -peer architecture I would say the first thing it will be um, the first thing would be decentralization in uh, physically introducing 
security challenges such as data integrity and authorized access access and malicious peers the, set, the second thing we have a problem in the consistency and consistency so ensuring data consistency across digital decentralized network can be quite complex especially the number of peers grows also there is what we call network latency because communication between between peers as you can see here may introduce some um, uh, some delays particularly in ge in geographically distributed networks also there is a resource dependence because the system's performs pe the system's performance depends on the availability and reliability of participating peers um, let's talk about the use cases like when you will use um, a peer to peer architecture or when they are used the first thing they are used in um, file uh, sharing okay so peer to peer networks are widely used for file sharing per applications like uh, Bi um, a bit torrent where users can download pieces of a file from multiple peers simultaneously also it's a great in uh, blockchain blockchain Uh, blockchain systems such as bitcoins rely on peer-to-peer -peer architecture to maintain decentralized uh, ledger where each peer validates and stores transactions also um, we use peer-to-peer -peer in video streaming um Applications like peer uh, peer tube use peer to peer networks for decentralized video streaming, reducing the load on central service. Also, it's uh, we using um, we should use uh, peer to peer in in, in distributed uh, computing because peer to peer networks are used in distributed computing projects like um, SAT at home, where peers contribute their ideal computing power to solve complex problems. Also, it's used in gaming because many multiplayer online games use peer-to-peer -peer for match uh, making and gameplay to distribute the workload among players de um, among the uh, players devices um i guess um uh, that's it but um yeah that's it i guess that's it because i i don't want to make talk more about peer-to-peer -peer because the the uh, the purpose of this video just to talk about peer to peer on high peer to peer architecture on high level in context of system design interviews so that's it for this video and i hope you like my content if you like my content make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss any video and see you guys in future problems